Okay, continuing for the PLFA, PQ space. So now assuming uh, we change the metric between 6 and 7 to 50, okay, so what's going to happen? So you see that uh, the orange uh, circled nodes are now the P space and the blue circled nodes are the Q space. You see, there's no conjunction, there's no overlapping anymore um, of the PQ space. Okay, the P, R, Q are totally separate. Why? Let's just check, like what we did before, what what five can reach without using looping back to eleven and cross mainly crossing the crossing the eleven to one link. Just just don't use this link, okay? So five can reach six. Can it reach seven now? Looks like not. So fifth, five, so five, six. So basically the P space didn't change once before the before like when we had a, a metric of 40, the P space didn't change. So let's concentrate on the Q space. So before, remember, the, uh, the, in the first picture one, we have the uh, metric of 40, the, P, the Q space including 6, right? But now, will 6 be a Q space, would it? So you go 50 and 60, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, also. So that means the 6, if, you want, if 6 wants to reach 12, okay, Q space is the set of router uh, using itself as a source uh, to reach the destination, in this case 12, uh, without crossing the 11 and 1 link. In this case, yes, because ECMP, 6 is going to use ECMP pass to reach 12. So that doesn't count anymore. So the 6 is not Q space. 4, also not. Okay, so that means you see that now you have a clean separation of P and Q. These two nodes are no more the PQ space. Okay, so what's going to happen then? So that means uh, uh, before in the first scenario, we have a single segment backup. That means the for 11 to use the backup pass, 11 only needs to add one label, that means to six okay and in this case we're gonna have to add two labels so 11 is gonna send to six first and from six is it gonna drop to seven and then from seven drop to 12 okay so it's gonna use one label first to get to six and then from six six is using you can be using a, another uh, label which is actually a, a prefix it to drop the traffic into the queue space. So the important thing is to sort of, it has to drop the traffic into the queue space because once the packet is in the queue space, it's gonna nat route naturally towards 12, okay? So this is the only point where, I mean, here, of course, here, they, they also touch between P and Q, right? Here also touch, so, but here, um is definitely uh, a, a longer uh, uh, prefix okay a, a intermediate node so here is is closer it's also on the post convergence but remember what we're talking about post convergence paths so TLF is like uh, assuming this link is down he's going to co uh, calculate the, what it's the after convergence, what 11 is going to use once lift things down? It's going to use 11, 5, 6, 7, 12, right? So for even even this could be also possible, 11 won't be using it because this is the convert post-convergence path. If the PQ space, if the PQ node are on the conversion path, it's going to use that. So that means it's going to select to, to go to 6 and 6 is sent going to send it to over to 7. 7 is going to send to 12. Okay, let's do it. So let's change. Uh, 
Let's change this interface to higher metric, okay? So now we have set to 40 before, so now we're going to do To change to 50. Okay, let's go back to see what has changed. Okay, you see here basically this is the two extra label that come on top. Before remember we only had 16006. Now we adding another label with 16007. This label is the prefixed label of root of 7, and we will see why, okay? Here, let's just check the route as well. So now we have three labels. That's two, this called two segment, uh, two segment la uh, label. Before the one is single segment, now we need two segment to first drop it to drop the traffic into the queue space. Once the, uh, uh, the packet is in the queue space, okay, queue space is here. Once the packet is in the queue space, okay, in, in this case seven, it's gonna root naturally, right? So we, we were using two labels to do that. So first get to six, then six send it to seven, seven root that naturally to 12. Okay, um, we we are going to we we are going to see why is using. Uh, because you know there's a uh, distinction between sixteen zero zero seven, which is basically the prefix it, and the adjacency it. In this case, you're not using the adjacency it. Why? Because once the traffic get to six, can six send to seven without using the adjacency lay uh, sit. Just think about it. So six to seven is metric of 50. Will it send over this pass? Think about it, six to seven, 50, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's longer, okay? So six is definitely going to send over this link to seven using the prefix seed of seven, okay? So it doesn't need to use the adjacency seed in this case, just use the prefix it. Okay, so the traffic will go first. It's gonna arrive using the prefix six of six, uh, prefix it of root of six. Once it's there, the the root of six is prefix label. Prefix six label is gonna pop, and then it's gonna gonna use the seven prefix it of seven to reach seven. Once it's successfully dropped into the queue space. 7 is root naturally to 12. Okay, so this is what we see in the output. So for the next session, um, I'm going to change the topology now finally to 60 and then see what's going to happen.